It's me, Wrecky Wreck. And today, look where I am. I am at Maui Honeybee Sanctuary here in Maui, Hawaii. <gasps> Have you ever been to Hawaii before? Oh my goodness, it is beautiful. And I cannot wait to learn about honeybees. <gasps> Are you ready to explore? Come on, let's go. So what? Since I don't know very much about honeybees, I definitely want to introduce you to my new friend. This is my friend, Erica. So Erica, what do you do here? I'm the lead educator for the honeybee sanctuary. So wow. I have to teach children about honeybees. Wow, that is really cool, because bees aren't something that we have to be scared of, huh? That's right, they're actually very gentle, beautiful creatures. Wow, really exciting. Well, in order to see bees, we can't really go looking like this, because although they don't really want to sting us, it is possible. So, there's a special suit that we get to put on. Are you ready? I'm excited. Check out this cool suit. You see that? It's got a bunch of like mesh screening on it so the bees can't get to my skin and sting me on accident. And what is this right here? This is our smoker, so we use this to calm down the bees so we can see a little bit more into the hive. Oh, oh my goodness. Well, this is gonna be a lot of fun. I even got my bow on here. <laughs> Isn't that kind of silly? Well, this is gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> Check this out, Brecky Breck. I have lots of photos to show you. Ooh, okay. Wow, well, that is a beautiful picture of a bee on a beautiful purple flower. Do you know what that bee is doing? No, what is it doing? She is pollinating. <gasps> wow, what is pollination? So pollination is a free service that the honeybees do for us, where they provide fruits and vegetables by pollinating the flowers. Wow, that seems like a really important job. Do you see her tongue here? She's slurping up the nectar. Oh, wow, bees slurp up the nectar with their tongue? That's amazing. Check out all the pollen on this honeybee's legs. Whoa! I like to call those pollen pants. Oh, that's funny, pollen pants, that's catchy. So the pollen is the protein and the food source for the beehives. Wow, so they collect pollen, bring it back to the hive, store it in these little cells, and it makes food. So here we have royal jelly. Do you see the substance inside the cell? Yeah, that looks interesting. Yeah, so this is actually a queen cell. Oh. So this is a queen larva, and the queen gets fed royal jelly for her whole entire development and her lifetime. And she becomes the mother of all the bees in the hive. She sounds very, very special and important. That is really, really exciting. She is so important, she lays 2,000 eggs per day. 2,000 eggs per day? Oh my goodness. Wow, so uh, after the queen has laid 2,000 eggs, that's a lot, what happens to them? So the queen bee lays an egg into one of the cells inside the hive, and then the nurse bees feed that egg until it hatches into a larva, and then it becomes a pupa, and then the full-grown bee. Wow, so how long does that process take? This is a 21 day process. 21 days, that's actually pretty fast if you ask me. From nothing to a baby bee. <gasps> wow, that's really special. Do you wanna see a baby bee? I would love to. Here we have a baby bee, isn't she cute? Wow, that is super cute. Hey Brecky Breck, I know you like to dance. Can I teach you a new dance? I would love to learn a new dance. It's called the waggle. <laughs> oh, the waggle. Is this what it looks like? Yes, it is. So it's a way that the honeybees communicate with each other. Oh. So they waggle their behind and they move in a figure eight pattern and they're communicating. Let's try it. Do you want to try doing the waggle dance? All you got to do is shake your booty a little bit and move in a figure eight. You ready? That's how the bees communicate with each other. Isn't that so neat? <laughs> Are these the beehives? They are the beehives. Whoa -wee. Wow, so now this right here is a smoker and we need to light the smoker so that we can give the bees a little bit of smoke so they feel comfortable when we take a look and check them out. Oh, do you see the smoke coming out now? Whoa, that's pretty neat. You can go try. <gasps> oh, this is fun. <laughs> 
It's kind of like knocking on the door to let them know we're about to come in. Wow. Look at that. These honeybees are beautiful. Do you hear that buzzing sound? This is actually such a calming sound. I love that hum that they make. Wow, this is an incredible experience because I get to wear this suit and get to be so close and observe them and be thankful for what they do. And I'm not even afraid because I'm protected by this suit. This is a very special moment. Wow, do you see all these protector bees? We've got the hard working bees right here, still in the hive, working away. And these other ones are coming out to protect the hive. I wonder if I do the waggle, I can communicate. I'm safe. I just wanted to observe and be thankful for all that you do. Let's do the waggle. Wow, Erica, so how many bees do you think you have? Can you believe there's actually 30,000 or more bees in this hive? 30,000 or more bees in this hive, so with all these boxes, you probably have like a couple hundred thousand? That's a lot of bees. You know what's really interesting about all this? These are all female bees. Can you believe it? The females are the ones that work a lot. That's crazy. What is this tool that you have, Erica? This is my hive tool, so I use it to go inside the hive and move the frames around. And oh. I use it, I want to be really gentle. Oh my goodness, look at all those beautiful lady bees working away. So how often do you just take a look at these bees' uh, nests? Usually about twice a month, we go in and check on the bees to make sure everything's looking nice and healthy. Oh. So you always want to look for eggs inside the hive to make sure that you have a laying queen. Wow. In this case, though, we can see some larva. Do you see that white stuff in there? That's the larva. And you know what? This yellow, orange looking stuff on the edge, that's pollen. And it's food for the babies. So they're keeping it nice and close for the babies, huh? Well, if these bees understood me, I would say thank you so much for all of the work that you do on keeping this planet growing and thriving. They sure do a lot of awesome work. give them space because she's the keeper and she knows how to keep them calm and calm down. So we were going to give them some space because after you've spent a lot of time with the bees, they start losing their energy trying to defend their hive. Wow, that was so much fun exploring the hive and seeing how the reproduction of little baby honeybees happens. Wow, well thank you so much Maui Honeybee Sanctuary and thank you so much Erica for showing me all about bees. Well, thank you so much for joining me on this episode. We'll see you later.
spring The weather's getting warmer, I can feel the decrease Spring, you have all of my favorite things March, April, May I love spring in the flowers, spring in the trees Spring cause it's melting away, a cold freeze, yes I do Sure to hit the red subscribe button below. We'll see you next time. <laughs>